it feels weird to say this, but I love and appreciate what this year has revealed. I feel more alive and more like my authentic self than I ever have as thing after thing has piled upon me this year because I just don't have the bandwidth for trying to maintain fakery. Anyone else? A year ago, I was in LA bringing in the new year with my brother and I couldn't imagine losing him eight months later. When he asked me to come back to LA in March, I thought it would be for just a few weeks. I had no idea I'd be there for five months that I was there to help him transition, but those five months were one of the greatest blessings of my life. My struggles and my family struggles have been very public, overwhelmingly public at times, but no more important than anyone else's. 2020 has come for us all in one way or another. Thank you for all the support and love, especially over the past four months. Many of you have DM'd me, sending love, kind thoughts and prayers. And please know I have also been praying for you and I've also read your messages here on Instagram, every single one of them. Even when it looks like I haven't, trust I have and I do. I had to have my Instagram set up so I didn't get the notifications and so I could read messages at my own pace but not interact with them. Because like I said, it's been beyond overwhelming at times. I want to spend a special thank you to a few people who have truly held me down throughout this tumultuous year. Tanya, Calvin, Alfreda, Marion, Dana, Holly, Laurel, Suzette, Ayo, Tariq, Ailey Fam, Amos, Dewana, Hope, Linda, Denise, Chaya, and Mark, my America V 2.1 family, my girls, Melissa and Lakey, y'all already know our little project got me through the summer my Lion King Gazelle family, my constant rocks, Denitra, Nalisa, and Bridget, my therapist, my Lord, Mark, no words except love, Martin, I love you so much. I thank you blood, breath, tears. I thank you thoughts that continue to logically flow. Thank you, God. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this adventure. Thank you for this year for its soaring highs and its bottomless lows. I've learned to trust it all. Even what I haven't understood, I've learned to surrender to the mystery and trust, trust you. Let's all work harder at loving each other in 2021. I love you all. Happy New Year. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For Lang Syne, my dear, for Lang Syne, we'll take a cup, oh come.